What's going on YouTube? Let me introduce myself. My name is the Ankle Breaker. I'm the big bro, the little bro, the game 360. Unfortunately, the game's not here. He's uh, out and about taking care of some personal matters. So I'm gonna be your guys guest commentary today for this video. Uh, let me start off by saying, uh, due to circumstances beyond my control, I wasn't around the last few years. So uh, I never really got to play any of these new Call of Duties. Uh, actually, the last one I played was uh, Modern Warfare on the 360. So, uh, Ghosts, uh, Infinite Warfare, uh, Vange Warfare, Black Ops 3. The last couple months, this is like my first time playing any of these games. And uh, one thing I noticed that uh, Infinite Warfare, I don't know why, but that game got a bum rap. A lot of you guys are trashing the game, saying it's trash. I mean, to me, maybe I'm looking at it with a fresh pair of eyes because, like I said, the last Call of Duty I played was Modern Warfare. So, I mean, that game was incredible to me. You know I mean? I still play it. I mean, I still play Black Ops 3. So, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. World War II, this game is the truth. This shit is tough. It go in. I know you guys enjoying it. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying it, even though I'm not that good of a player like my brother, but I still enjoy the game. Another topic I wanted to touch on today was these, uh, first person shooters you know i mean me i'm an older guy you know so i came up you know in the age of the third person shooters you know what i mean i mean i noticed a lot of these characters they got on these games you could customize them you know what i mean change the uniforms with different helmets and whatnot on them but uh one thing that's uh irking me is that you can't even see none of that shit the only time you get to see the customization of your character is when you die you know what i mean i would like to have you know some of these games at least give you the option to do the over the shoulder view a la, a la uh, Ghost Recon, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, I, I would like to see, you know what I mean, my character's uniform, you know what I mean? It's a lot of the customizations that you guys work hard for to put on your characters, we can't even see that shit until you get killed, you know what I mean? That's To me, that's kind of ass, but, you know, you know what I mean? Especially, you know what I mean? It's about to be 2018, you know what I mean? You think they would give us the option between first and third player, you know, camera views. Another topic I like to speak on, to touch on, is uh, what's up with the customizable map selection during the multiplayer games it's like we we at the mercy of whatever the computer feels like it need to randomly generate for us to play i would like it you know at least let us hand pick a couple maps that we could cycle through you know what i mean so i know this on like a lot of the older card of duties like iw like black ops 3 it's a lot of the maps i never even really got to play in multiplayer because if it's not a featured group of maps you can't even get games for those maps. I mean, the maps cost money, you know what I mean? People are spending their hard earned money on the maps and we can't even enjoy them all. I mean, to me, that kind of sucks. You know what I mean? You would think by now they'd have found a way of put in a way a patch or something so that we could, you know, at least select from a group of maps. You know what I mean? Cause I, don't get me wrong, a lot of these maps are pretty good. I, I haven't seen any trash maps on World War II yet, but it's one or two maps that I only seen one or two times. And I've been playing the game for the last couple weeks. And like I said, that kind of sucks. You know what I mean? You can let me know what you guys think in the comments for the video. Also, I would like to speak on the teammates in the games in the multiplayer. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not the best player in the world. But a lot of you guys running around, not backing up your teammates, not helping out. Everybody just trying to get their KD up. You know, sometimes you got to fall back, throw some smoke grenades, you know I mean, plant some mines, you know what I mean? You know, strategize, you know, to help your teammates. It ain't all about the kills, you know what I mean? Especially in, in like, capture the flags, domination, hard point, you know, some of those strategic game types, game moves, you know what I mean? You guys need to work together a little more. I mean, it ain't everybody, but it's a lot of the players doing this, you know what I mean? That gets kind of frustrating, kind of irritating. You know what I mean? Especially with, you know, like some of the players such as myself that's really not that good. We still trying to learn, get a feel for the game. It's like you guys make it extremely hard. But in saying that, I still enjoy playing the game very much. Uh, they did a hell of a job with the World War II. You know what I mean? I applaud Sledgehammer for that. And uh, getting great gameplay, great enjoyment out of this. I know you guys are too. So, uh... Guys, keep playing the game, putting that work in, keep prestiging, you know, getting them guns and whatnot. And uh, enjoy the video. Sending motor out, zone and sweep. 